Hello everybody, welcome to Project Beauty where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. Today is my very first cross stitch video ever and I'm a little nervous. <laughs> um, my son is in the background so that's why I moved way over and also I'm going to be showing you a bunch of stuff here mm -hmm. in person of course not with pictures but um, I wanted to share with you my cross stitch inventory. My All this is pretty much a haul because I'm starting from scratch and I have a little story pretty much as I go. So, um, and then I'll show you guys some of the projects that I have completed. I only did a few small things just because I'm, I'm starting brand new and I don't have a lot, but what I do have, I'm excited about. So, um, the first thing I want to share with you guys is my little kits. So I have these cross stitch kits that house all of my um, different skeins and most of what is in this container which was retrieved from the dollar store um, this one most of the stuff in here I got at a garage sale for three dollars so uh, that was amazing first of all and I originally bought it because I was gonna gift it to a friend and then I saw that friend's haul of what they have. Not just haul from current, but um, haul of stuff in general, like their inventory basically. <clears throat> and I thought I do not need to overload or bombard this friend with extra stuff. So I talked to my husband about it and I was like, you know, I have all this extra thread. I'm not sure what to do with it. Maybe I should try cross stitching. And he's like, well, I could, I could use it for, um, my book binding because he was doing book binding now he is doing coil binding not stitch binding so um, he doesn't need them more anymore either so I decided to keep them for myself spoolie them all into this thing here and color coordinate them no I did not put them in by number for all the cross stitchers who are watching that is sort of a personal preference of mine um, and I can explain why in a second. <laughs> I am a I am a manipulator of patterns. I don't really like to stick with one thing. I like to think outside the box and I use a pattern as a guideline. I will follow a pattern as much as possible, but I will also manipulate and tweak a pattern. So that being said, um, that's why I put this in color coordination because if I want to do a specific pattern and I'm looking for a specific color, I can just go through that rainbow and find it. And it's very exciting. Then I went to Michael's and of course I have been buying a ton of these DMC floss bobbins and my friend has termed me the bobbinator <laughs> because I literally sat for two days straight bobbinating all of these things, all of these skeins and I wanted to do every single one of them but I'm like you know what once I run out of some of my other ones I will put the backups on the skein or the bobbin holder. Um, on the bobbin, on the bobbin, I will get all the terms and yeah, we'll go from there. So these are backups for now. I have, I probably bought six or so packages of these DMC floss bobbins, but that's it. This is just a little toolkit from the dollar store that I keep and I'm going to use it. I'm going to like wipe it out and clean it, but I'm going to use it for like a project. So if I have like one or two or three different flosses I need to use, I'll just throw my um, needles in here, the floss in here, and all I need to do then is carry around this and my little scissors. So I think this is a perfect little container. I'm going to try and cut this guy off somehow and then remove this label, clean it up a bit. So that is just a project holder for future. This also came with my skeins from the garage sale as well as two, I'm sorry if you hear a bunch of um, background noise and like that. <laughs> that is my son. My son is nonverbal autistic. So those are his sounds. This is how he expresses himself. So if that bothers you, I'm sorry, but that's too bad because that is who my son is and he can be exactly who he needs to be. I'm not trying to be like, you know, confrontational or anything. It's just, I advocate for my son and, and I want him to be vocal and I want him to make his sounds. So that, that just a little bit of explanation on my family and my little guy back there. So this I got at the garage sale. So I will hang on to this for a future project. Um, I also decided to pick up a couple of these. So these are pre, I don't even know what you would call them, but they're like eight o'clock, but they're on a wood backing. 
So they, it's sort of like a, a firmer, wider wood to the outside and then inside this is slid in there to hold the rest of this material taut. And then you can just like, Go off of these. So this is what I work from right now, and I'm perfectly happy with this. There was four, no, three of these in a container for $16.99 Canadian. I am in Canada, uh, so this is $16.99 for three, but there was 40% off, so that's why I got the white. And then I sent my husband to pick me up a, a white one, or sorry, I got the black, and he picked me up the white one. So now I have each, and I have used one of each. That's why you see there's one missing in each, but it usually comes with three. I have minimal space on my vanity here, so yeah. Um, next, I retrieved this from, I can't remember what it's called now, Love Something, Lovecraft, something like that, for free. Maybe it says on here. No, it's just a DMC pattern, a free pattern. And so I wanted to make my friend a pattern for her birthday, and I used this. So this is where the manipulation comes in. I used this top of the flower and I used kind of my own stem. I didn't use one of these. I created my own version of a stem. And then I used the top portion of uh, this, this one here and the top portion of this one here. And I'll show you that pattern in a moment because I am finished it and I'm going to give that to her for her birthday. I don't think she watches this, so I should be okay. <laughs> Um, and then on Facebook Marketplace, someone was giving this away for free, and it is an Indigenous woman, which is absolutely stunning. Um, it looks more like embroidery than cross-stitch, but she had it labeled as cross-stitch. But I think I can stitch this and then just add embroidery to it. So it's very beautiful. I couldn't resist. I was like, free? Please give this to me. <laughs> so this one was printed out from... I want to say Lovecraft, but don't quote me on that. Um, let me know in the comments if I'm incorrect. But anyway, I also made a few orders on Amazon. There's a lot going on here. But before I did that, I went to Michael's. Actually, I, this is the time I sent my husband. And I grabbed a bit more floss. So most of the stuff in here is new, with the exception of majority of this like rose pink color and some of this pink color. The ones that are darker in here are new these are all new this is new these are new all these are new so i will talk to you guys about that basically the um the rose pinks and the warmer pinks in the mid to light tones are all from the garage sale so i got a lot of stuff from that garage sale so again this one is new this is i believe embroidery but i love a thick I love a thick stitch. I use usually two to three strands when I'm cross stitching and I feel like this is just so thick. I could just use one strand and it would be good. And I love red. I also got these beautiful pearlized skeins from DMC. Um, there's also a soft silver and then also an old gold looking shade. Really beautiful, love. Um, and I also got some variegated skeins because I wanted to do some really fun work I'm not going to talk about what, but I also got neon. So all of these are neon threads, which you can really see. I would also eventually like to get some glow in the dark thread for a project that I'm going to work on. But again, I don't just want to spend, spend, spend. I do want to use what I have. So that's what I'm doing at the moment is just trying to use through some of the things that I have. And this compartment was my husband's. It came from the dollar store. He was going to use it for a project and he never ended up using it. So it is now mine which is so wonderful. Um, I also picked up some more skeins in the Loops and Threads Embroidery Floss. And again, these are thick. So yeah, um, I, I'm, I'm still learning. I think Embroidery Floss can be used for cross stitch as well and then you can just separate it. I'm learning all the terms. Let me know in the comments. I'm a brand newbie. I have been doing this for four days. <laughs> so I started on January 1st and I've already finished two little projects. I'm really excited. I also from Facebook Marketplace um, went and picked this up. It was a $1 for this beautiful little, what is this called again? Um, Forget Me Knots. So it's a cute little kit, comes with all the things you need. And I just thought that was so lovely. I couldn't pass that up. Um, I also, from the dollar store, picked up this little Santa ornament thing. 
which is super cute. You can see right here what it will look like. And again, it has one of those little round hoops. I'm assuming that this is maybe not from the dollar store. I'm not even sure where that's from, but anyway. Uh, I'm glad I have a couple of those things to work with. And then I also have the one from this one to use, so that's great for those kits. Then, if I can just adjust some things here. Oh, let me do it this way. That would be so much more better. More better. Oh my god. It would be a lot better. <laughs> then I picked up a couple of hoops from Michael's. Um, these ones were 40% off. This one was regular price. I think this was $3.49. This was $7.99. And then, of course, 40% off of that. So that is lovely. I love those coupons. I will only pick up things on occasion when I have a coupon or when there's a sale, which I have never really seen cross stitch stuff go on sale. So let me know in the comments if it goes on sale. Um, and then I ordered where, oh, here's my other book. I ordered a couple of, um, books from Amazon as well as some Ada cloth. I still have one coming. I think it comes tomorrow. Um, but I got this one from Yordan Craft and Hobby Fabric. It says 8 o'clock, 12 by 18 inch, 8 colors. And it's supposed to be a, I think it's a 14 inch or a, a 14 Ada. <clears throat> but this one looks really teeny tiny. The holes look really teeny tiny. I'm going to show you the white version of the squares I got. I think this might be 11 because you can see just how huge the holes are on this. In comparison to this, I feel like this would be so much nicer for when you're trying to complete a project and you don't want the whole light of day shining through your project and seeing everything that's happening on the other side. So I feel like if they reduce the the size of this to a smaller size, I would like it a lot better. Also, the pattern that I used for the flowers, it was huge. So that's why I had to manipulate the project. But this cloth has... It has a white, a green, I want to say, um, I think a red, a beige, a black, a blue. I don't really know everything that's in here. Let me see. An orange, it looks like. Ooh, it better have orange. That would be so fantastic. <gasps> I'd be so excited. Okay. Um, I love spooky things. Just so you guys know, I am a super fan of horror. I really love sugar skulls, anything Halloween related, bats. I, I'm not a fan of spiders in reality but like on cross stitch it's fine um but I got two two books so this one right here is absolutely adorable and inexpensive and you get 200 cute and spooky Christmas and cross stitch patterns and they're all anywhere between one inch to three inches big and that's it so you can add multiple of these you can make ornaments so you can see right here on the front it tells you you can make these cute little teeny tiny ornaments, which I plan on making. And I will show you a couple of these. So this is what the finished products will look like or should look like. And then of course the patterns are up here, super teeny tiny and so cute. And then um, a couple more, you can see the little foxes. Oh my God, I love the fox with the little hats on them. I hope I was in screen there. And then we'll go to the more spooky side. So here you get the bat and the ghost and the frog and little pumpkin, like teeny, teeny, tiny pumpkins. And then here there's like a spider, an owl, an eye, a heart, like an angry heart. <laughs> and then a candy cane with wings. Oh my gosh. Um, and then, so that is like a mix of like creepy and halloween -y. And there's also more just like straight up like haunted castle, um, a rip cross and a kitty black kitty and then bones which I would do in more of like a bone shade or white and then of course another headstone so yeah and then Valentine's Day or you could do it Christmas I would just remove the hat honestly I'm not gonna lie it's like Christmas puked all over everything in here so I would just remove all the Santa hats from stuff um, unless I wanted to make for someone else but there's like zombie hands yeah just all all kinds of absolutely adorable little pieces of artwork in here of all kinds and I love it and then this one is sugar skulls and flowers 
So you get every single one of these patterns of sugar skulls and then all these beautiful flowers as well. And I cannot wait to start one of these. I probably will start one. Maybe I'll start one tonight. So these are a couple of the really cute. I mean, they're all adorable. So I want to make every single one of these. I've also got some more free patterns off of, I want to say Lovecraft again. I'm not sure, but I've been looking up free patterns online and that's the way to go for me at the moment. I'm not trying to spend an arm and a leg on my supplies, which is why I'm looking at Facebook Marketplace. So yeah, I've also been putting it out on Facebook. If anyone has anything that you guys don't want anymore that's cross-stitch related, let me know and I will come and take it off your hands. Um, one more thing I did get before I show you my completed projects. I have no whips right now. Nothing in progress. I have everything. Oh, sorry. I got to keep my son out of the picture. But everything is completed. This is another thing that I purchased, which my friend Valerie, I was using one of these and I just thought it was so awesome. So it goes around your neck and these little lights will help you with your projects. And this one is really bright. But last night I was using this while I was completing my, or trying to complete the web on my next thing that I'll show you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what a way for you guys to get to know me if you're new to my channel from cross stitching or any kind of crafting. Hello. <laughs> I'm a mess and that's just how things are over here. But um, when I saw her use this, I just thought this was fantastic. And then I used it last night and it was perfect because I could lean back and the light still shines and you can adjust it. It's wonderful. Hang on, my love. Let me, we'll move this for you, okay? You don't have to... He just likes to push things out of the way and then things fall over. So I understand that he just wants things to happen yesterday. So, um, so now I will, yes, I sell, I sell when he touches my mouth or my chin it's because he wants me to say something because I'm his voice. Okay. No jumping for mommy. Okay. So these are my completed projects. Um, Marilyn, if you're watching this, please don't watch this right now because I made you something and I don't want you to see it. <laughs> but for everybody else who's allowed to look, this is the, the pansy that I made. This is her favorite flower. So this is the one that I made. And I just think it's so sweet. Of course, I had to stop it here. It looks kind of unfinished, but the wood is here. So I had to stop it where I stopped it. And I think it looks really cute for my first attempt. And I wish I used three strands for, honey, can you shut it down? Can you shut it down for mommy? What kind of protein are you? So I wish I used three strands of um, um, floss. Oh my gosh. I wish I used three strands of floss for the dark purple and the lighter purple. But the yellow looks so beautiful and vibrant. But I think this is stunning and I love it. I'm really proud of it. And I hope she likes it. I'm sure she'll like it. But I'm really proud of it. And I also just put my little initials and the, the year back there. And then, so that one is... <laughs> yes, honey. This one is my last one. I just finished about an hour ago. And it looks like this. And I am obsessed. I used the white... Per honey, no jumping. The white pearlized claw or embroidery floss. <laughs> You have to go over here with that, okay, buddy? Just go over there for a second. I used the embroidery floss that has the pearlized white in it. And then I used an orange spider instead of black. So black on black. I didn't really want to do that. But I love how this turned out. But this is everything. I am so proud of my little artworks. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know this is a quick one, but my son is trying to climb on my chair. So I'm going to go. Please leave your name down below and let me know what you're working on if you are a cross stitcher. I was going to say crossfitter because I used to do crossfit too a long time ago. But let me know in the comments if you guys do any kind of craft, knitting, crocheting, cross stitching, diamond painting, painting, anything. Oh, very nice singing. And I will see you in the next video and it will be less chaotic. I promise you. Maybe not. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe my brand new first one and put like needle and thread or something in the comments, please. Bye.